Okay, today I'm doing another video on Cold Steel Samburu Spear. And I just returned from an outing at the uh, Pyramid State Park, uh, which is located five miles south of Pinckneyville, Illinois. And you know, it has a really nice archery range there, and uh, they had some targets that were uh, suitable for uh, spear throwing. So, you know, I had my camera all set up and uh, I was uh, doing a little uh, warm-ups and practice throws before I started filming. And during the uh, practice session, both of the uh, handles on uh, the spears had broke on me. And, uh, you know, I was really let down by the fact that um, the last time I took uh, the spears out throwing, uh, the metal part uh, on the, uh, the back here had broke. And, uh, you know, I've had nothing but bad luck with these spears since day one. And, uh, you know, this wood that they use to, uh, to make this out of, it's real, real brittle and uh, real lightweight. And uh, it's almost... Uh, like balsa wood, it's all dried out and stuff. And it's just unsuitable for uh, the wear and tear that uh, it's going to have to take uh, while throwing a spear. So, uh, you know, I wanted to do this video and let everybody out there know that uh, if you get a uh, cold steel Samburu spear, that uh, your handles, if they're anything like mine, are going to break uh, quickly. Uh, you know, my first video that I shot, um, I was throwing from an elevated platform and I was throwing down and there wasn't much uh, stress on the wooden part uh, because it was, it was all going in the same direction. Today, when I threw, I was throwing uh, at ground level and uh, I noticed that uh, when the, uh, the spears uh, went into the target that there was a lot of wobble to it and that's uh that's where these uh, spears just uh, literally just snapped off at the uh at the end here and uh, you know cold steel is going to have to uh resolve this problem and i'd like some feedback from uh the people that are watching this uh video and uh, let me know uh, how many of you guys have uh, had the same problem with the uh, the wooden shafts breaking? And I think that cold steel is going to have to go back to the drawing board and uh, they're going to have to come up with some kind of uh, fiberglass or uh, some kind of uh, hard plastic uh, to replace this wood with because the wood, unless they change, I'm, I'm going to get me an oak sapling and I'm going to make me some uh, out of oak. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that that's going to work. And I'm not going to get this old dry stuff. I'm going to have something with a little moisture in it, something that will give it a little spring. And, uh, you know, they're going to have to do something because uh, this is just not cutting it with these, uh, these problems that I'm continuing to have with this, uh, this spear. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm wanting to go hunting this year, and I want to kill a deer with it and uh, but if they keep breaking and stuff like that I'm never gonna be able to have the spirit to even take to go hunting so anyway I wanted to do this video let you guys know that cold steel Samburu spear is still has problems so uh, you know stay in touch with me on that let me know like I said if you've had problems with them breaking and uh, let's see if we can get cold steel to fix this problem and uh, go to fiberglass or some, some different material. So I'll see you guys on my next video. You guys have a good one.